And we still have uh, people reporting trapped on the third floor that we can't get to. What's on fire? A building? Chicago Fire Department. It's fire. A fire. Oh, the building is burning. Sir, please tell him to get out. They be stealing our apartment. Mark England died in a single-family home the city knew was illegally converted into a boarding house. There were too many bedrooms and not enough exits. Sarah Amon died in an abandoned building so dangerous that it was ordered torn down, but the city didn't follow through. Four of Shemaya Coleman's children died in a building where the city failed to force landlords to fix serious fire hazards. I love my Mark with dirty red. <laughs> A recent investigation by the Better Government Association and the Chicago Tribune identified 61 people who died in fires after government officials were warned about fire safety issues. The city failed to hold landlords accountable to fix the dangerous problems in time. We found that hundreds of 311 complaints about these unsafe buildings were never fully investigated. And even when inspectors did document fire safety hazards, we found the city's process for holding landlords accountable isn't working. Landlords were allowed to delay fixes. Cases were closed without verifying repairs. Hearing officers let landlords off the hook with warnings or small fines. Follow-up was often too little, too late. The fires were concentrated in poor, disinvested areas, and the majority of the people who died in these unsafe homes were black. They were put in danger by a failed system that routinely puts the interests of property owners above the safety of tenants. Bottom line, their government failed to protect them.